The Ontario Science Centre's abrupt closure sparked new campaign promises from opposition parties today. The forward government continues to face blowback for the decision, which was made after an engineering report said the roof isn't structurally sound. Jason Gaidola joining us in studio tonight with more on this. Good evening, Jason. Good evening, Matt. Plenty of pushback from locals, science donors, and even the architect who designed the building, adding that he, uh, the firm believes the closure was politically motivated. The outrage even reached a point where one opposition member broke through the building's barriers today. Well, there you go. Yeah, there you go. And now let's push it over here. NDP member Kristen Wong Tam took it upon herself to remove the fencing that was installed at the closed Ontario Science Center. Take down the fence, reopen the building. You know, it, it, from what we've been looking at in the engineering reports, what we've heard from many of the experts is that nothing in there is going to cause problems right now. And as you heard from uh, the president of OPSU, there's a very large part of the, uh, of the Science Center that's not even impacted at all. Outside of the facility on Don Mills Road today, opposition leader Mart Stiles made a party pledge and says it will cost less to repair the roof of the building than demolishing and relocating it. If an NDP government is, is elected, we will reopen and revitalize this. But you know what that requires? It means Doug Ford can't put another finger on it unless he's going to repair it. Last week, the museum doors were abruptly closed after the Ford government said it received an engineering report about its roof, stating problems with the structure and it being in danger of collapsing. Pushback followed with public donations for repairs, relocating science programming, and even layoffs of some food service workers. We had the conversation with the government. We were told that they would work with the external vendors to make sure that not a single person would lose a paycheck or a job. And in that conversation, it wasn't immediately. It was for the duration that all of these workers would have employment. Even the firm of the late architect who designed the Ontario Science Centre says the province's decision was done for political reasons rather than safety. Premier Doug Ford and his government already announced plans to eventually relocate the Science Centre to a downsized location at the soon-to-be-redeveloped Ontario Place slated for 2028. Within my first 30 days as Premier, I will appoint a special investigator to conduct a comprehensive investigation into all of Doug Ford and his government's shady backroom deals. Liberal leader Bonnie Crombie wants to go outside government walls to look into other matters like the Greenbelt scandal and the dealings with Service Ontario. You know that the Auditor General is backed up, FAO is backed up. We need a dedicated special investigator, no matter what that will look like. We, you know, it could be an inquiry, a retired judge. It could be the more RCMP investigations. We have many, many uh, independent officers of the legislature who have all kinds of powers to investigate uh, in ways that some PI is not going to be able to investigate. And we did reach out to the Premier, Premier Doug Ford's office today asking what his response was to Stiles' pledge to reopen the Science Centre and Crombie's promise to assign another investigation. We have yet to hear a response from them. Matt.